Can I live in Banff? This is a question we get asked all the time, and the answer is yes, no, and maybe. The town of Banff is located in Banff National Park and is such regulated by the National Park regulations. Properties are leasehold from the Federal Crown as opposed to fee simple ownership. The occupancy is regulated through these tools and are known as the need to reside requirements. This is by no means a legal opinion, but takes from the experience we have selling real estate in Banff. Anyone can own a property at Banff, however, the use of that property is restricted to those meeting the need to reside. What are these requirements? According to the National Park Lease and License of Occupation Regulations, an eligible re resident is defined as A, an individual whose primary employment is in the park, B, an individual who operates a business in the park and whose presence at the place of business is necessary for the day-to-day -day operation of the business, C, a retired individual who resides in the park and who, for five consecutive years immediately prior to retirement, was employed primarily in that park or operated a business in that park and whose presence at the place of business was necessary for the day-to-day -day operation of the business. D, a retired individual who resided in that park at the time of the individual's retirement and who resided in the park on July 30th, 1981. An individual who is a student in full-time attendance at an educational institution that is located within the park and registered under the Income Tax Act or applicable provincial legislation relating to education. F, an individual who is a leasee of the public lands in the park and who was a leasee of those lands prior to May 19, 1911, or is a descendant by blood or adoption of an individual who was a leasee of those public lands prior to May 19, 1911, or G, the spouse or common law partner of a dependent of an individual referred to in any paragraphs from A through F. So, the short version is you need to be employed in the park or operate a business in the park. If you are considering a move to Banff National Park, depending on what type of business you have, there may be opportunities to rent an office space in Banff and move your business to Banff. Home-based businesses do not count. You'll want to speak with a local lawyer practicing real estate law in the area who can advise on this. There are also businesses for sale in Banff that could allow you to qualify. Because of the need to reside, Banff does not have short-term rentals in residential properties with the exception of inns or licensed bed and breakfasts. If you were looking to buy a condo and turn it into an Airbnb or VRBO, that would not be allowed. The purpose of the need to reside rules are, quote, to ensure a broad supply of housing types are available for those who work and raise families in the community, all people living in national park communities must meet eligible residency requirements. This ensures that housing remains available for those whose primary objective is to live and work in the community." End quote. A Canadian who wants to live in Banff can make it work if they are willing to commit to the community. A non-resident would have a difficult time proving their need to reside under the regulations. We find that most of our clients who do not meet the need to reside requirements choose to look at homes in Canmore and the surrounding hamlets. These mountain towns border Banff National Park and Kananaskis Country Provincial Park but are not in the parks and are fee simple properties without ownership restrictions. If you want to know more about homes in Banff or Canmore, visit us at CanmoreBanffRealEstate.com.